Welcome to the LifeTouch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to create a custom page layout from existing pages in your yearbook. Here we have a page spread open in Page Builder. What if we'd like to save this layout so it can be used on other pages in our yearbook? That's where custom layouts come in. First, we need to make sure that we have the page spread pulled up that we'd like to save as a layout. When we create a custom layout, portrait panels like these will be converted into placeholders, whereas candid images will be saved as part of the layout page. But don't worry, if you want to swap them out with different images, you can always do that too. From here, we'll click on More Actions and select Save as Custom Layout. We'll enter a name for our layout. Since this layout is great for portraits, I'll name it Portrait Layout 1. Here, we can choose if we'd like to save this layout as a double page spread, meaning that both pages of this layout can only be applied together as a two page spread, or as a single page layout, meaning this layout can be applied to the left page, right page, or both pages. I like the versatility of being able to apply the left and right sides separately, so I'm going to select single page. Here, we can enter some tags to help me find this layout in searches. Let's see. I plan to use this layout for my fall portraits, so I'll tag it with fall, portraits, and back to school. Okay, let's go ahead and click save. Great. Let's go see our custom layout by hovering over book builder and selecting custom layouts. And here it is, portrait layout one. I can click on it to open the spread and here we can make any changes we'd like to the page. When we're finished, we can save our work by clicking Save. And that's how to create a custom layout from Page Builder. For more info on working with custom layouts, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!